The surgery went very well. We were able to debulk the cancer as thoroughly as we could have hoped for. So is it gone? Is she going to be okay? Well, ovarian tumors are vascular, very sticky. They always leave a little behind, even in the best case scenario. And whatever's left has to be treated with chemotherapy. The question is what kind? During the surgery, we inserted a port into your abdomen to allow for an interperitoneal delivery. Getting the medication directly into the belly has shown an increased length of remission over IV therapy of almost two years. Well, that's great. Is that bad? Pulse ox is borderline. Upper to five liters. It's very common to need a little more oxygen after surgery. So this new chemotherapy, what's the deal? It's no day at the beach. It can include abdominal pain, metabolic problems, and nerve damage. This next year might be pretty hard. What could potentially mean many years beyond? Well, it's you is to go through all that pain. I'm down with the, whatever choice you make. That said, I want to have you as long as I can. Honey, I've run marathons and sat next to Ann Coulter on a plane. <laughs> How painful could it be? Thank you so much for making this happen. It's my pleasure. For some reason, having a husband and not a boyfriend has made this a lot easier to go through. I just hope he never forgets what I look like here. <coughs> Are you okay? Hey, where's Craig? Uh, he had to take care of some stuff at the school where he teaches. Hello, Shara. <coughs> oh my God. Okay, let's uh, let's get a mask on. Oxygen, hundred percent. Your stats are still low. What's going on? Your blood's not getting enough oxygen. We may need to intubate you. If we do, you need to be deeply sedated so that you don't fuck the ventilator. A ventilator. Send off an ABG. Am I okay? We're gonna take care of you. If you have to put me on a machine, promise you won't let Craig see me. Shara. No, Chloe, I'm serious. Please, it's not how I want him to remember me. I need you to promise. I promise. Okay. She's dying, isn't she? And there's nothing we can do? Shara consented to intubation. But she said if her heart stops, then she doesn't want CPR or electric shocks. Craig, I'm new at this, and I don't know what the right thing to do here is. But... Our door's open right now. 